tools required. Standard SAE Allen wrench, a couple of pliers, one needle nose, a wire cutter, and a half inch wrench. Hydraulic system consists of the hydraulic system, fully charged, two zip ties, cotter pins, and clevis pins. Remove any weight from the seat. Fold the foot rest in. Pump the chair up. And use a prop such as a two by four that's about two feet tall. Then release to bring back down. Make sure it's secure. The unlatched backrest cylinder, push the lever in and then push down. To relieve pressure from the seat cylinder, stick an Allen wrench in, push down on the foot lever, and push down. For removing the bolt, use a quarter inch Allen wrench and a half inch wrench. To remove the clevis pin and the cotter pin, use pliers. To remove the backrest cylinder, cut the zip ties. Slide back out, through, under, and onto the cylinder. To remove the seat cylinder, move the pin. Carefully place that on the floor. To remove the linkage selector, use a 532nd Allen wrench and remove the bolts. Note the number of washers in front and behind. Configurations may be different, so and it should reassembly should be exactly the same as it is as the disassembly. Remove the rubber stopper, push down on the foot pedal, twist and pull out. Use a rope or tie strap to tie down the foot pedal. Use a 316 inch to remove the pump bolts. Take care to hold the pump as it will drop to the floor once the bolts are released. Take the hydraulic pump assembly out of the chair. Before installing the hydraulic pump assembly, make sure the, tight, the chair is still tight and secure, the strap is still tight strap, and the support is still held firmly in place. To assemble the pump assembly, hydraulic pump assembly, place the hydraulic pump assembly into the 
Ninth Brain the Chair. Bolt the pump assembly, starting with the rear bolt. With a 3 16th Allen wrench. Make sure the bolts are tight. With the rubber stopper in hand, unstrap, push down on the foot lever, and install the rubber stopper. Install the selector lever by placing the selector lever into its seated position, and then use the washers as well as the bolt and screw it into its place. Use a 5 inch Allen wrench and tighten in place. Note the number of washers that you had previously and retain the same number of washers either in front and as well as in the back. Place the main cylinder into its slot. Use the clevis pin to hold it in place. And ensure that the hose is in this configuration. Install the second clevis pin if the hose do not align, release the pressure and push the rod inward or pump the pump cylinder to its hole. Then, using the smaller clevis pin, place it in seated position. If you install the back rack cylinder, make sure the hose goes through the seat cylinder hose underneath, over, and along this frame. Place it through the support along with the hose, align the hose, and place the clevis pin in this orientation. Use the cotter pins inserted through the hole and orient it so that it stays in place. We will lock this place after the testing. Place the other two cotter pins, make sure they're inserted into its clevis pins. To install the backrest, pull the backrest back, align the pins, push forward, make sure the selector lever is on the seat. Push up, holding your support to make sure it doesn't fall to the ground. Remove your support. Pump all the way, pump the chair all the way up. Release all the way down. Use the selector on the backrest. Pump all the way up. Release all the way down. Lock down the cotter pin.
Secure the backrest hose with tie straps. Cut the extra.